Welcome back to the shop, ladies and gentlemen. Today is part one of the uh, engine build from an air compressor, and uh, here's the donor compressor here. It was given to me by, by my good buddy Andrew. Um, it's probably not the right compressor to use, this one here, but I managed to get it going. So what I need to do is get this flywheel off, and it's stuck on there pretty hard, so I'm going to have to drill some holes in order to get my puller on it. So I'll use a harmonic balancer puller. So it's a matter of marking the holes in the correct position and then uh, striking it with a centre punch, so centre marking the holes, drilling them and tapping them. So I'm going to use a pilot drill here just to drill that hole to locate it in the correct spot first. And uh, yes, you can see it's a cast pulley. Um, I'll then follow up with the right size drill for the metric tap. And I'll be tapping these M10 by 1.5 today. So this is just a standard harmonic uh, balancer puller that you'd use on an automobile. As you can see I've just used some long M10 bolts and make sure they're all at the correct height so I can apply equal pressure. Now it was really tight to get this off and it went off with a bang. Once the flywheel was loose I could remove the bolts and remove the flywheel quite easily. Also a good idea here to take the key out so you don't lose it along the way and put it aside for later. Just the old rattle gun here and removing the cylinder head bolts and giving it a light tap. Now this removed the top part of the cylinder head however the reed valves were still stuck there and they came off later uh, when I belted it from the inside the barrel. Now when I was removing the barrel bolts I actually broke one of these and it snapped in the in the crankcase housing and so I'll have to show you how I got that out throughout the video. Now you can see there as I try to remove the barrel it bit me on the finger so I uh, wasn't too happy about that. So you can see that broken bolt in the bottom right hand corner so to, to get that out I'll have to weld a nut on it so I'll drain the crankcase of the oil get all the oil out you can see the nut here on the earth strap just gently put it on and I'll just use the MIG welder to MIG weld that nut over that broken bolt now it does two things it allows me to put a spinner on it but also the heat gets into there and loosens it now you'll notice I'll put a little call out there to show that notice there's no rings on this on this piston so I'll have to make a set of rings also for this motor in order to get it to work. As you can see I've got the broken bolt out quite easily. Now it's time to scrape the gasket off so I put some tissues in there and started removing the gasket. Now if you're liking it so far how about clicking that like button for me? I'd really appreciate it. This is just an old carpenter's chisel that I'm using to get it off. And it's over to my wall down drill press and what I'm going to do, these are actually in Whitworth uh, threads in here, so I'm going to drill them out and helicoil them with a metric M8. So the drill bit used is to suit a helicoil M8 uh, thread. Then I'll use the tap supplied in the kit to tap all those holes. And of course once they're tapped, I'll have to blow out all the garbage out of the holes, so there'll be all the uh, the chips made by the tap, so blow all that out successfully. You can see I still had the crankcase. Uh, I had a rag in there to stop any debris falling down inside. Now this is the tool used to fit the helicoil. And if you set it right, it will go down to its depth stop and stop there at its correct depth. Now there'll be a tail inside which you've got to break off and you can see there I've used the tool and I've just stuck my little spike in there which is magnetic to pick up the tail and you see here that I can pull it out and retrieve it. I'm just going to check those threads now to make sure they're okay and they're valid. So here's the donor 
Chonda. Now we say Chonda because it's a Chinese clone Honda. So these are similar to what goes in uh, ag bikes or the old posty bikes that we use over here in Australia, roughly about 110 cc. At the moment I'm removing the rocker cover. These are also the head bolts. So that will keep those four nuts, keep the head on and the barrel on. I've got to take out the spark plug and then remove the timing cover. So that's the timing cover bolt and cam gear timing cover coming off now. You can see there's three bolts that I'll need to undo to get that top cam gear off. And you've got to undo these before you can re remove the cylinder head because the cam chain and cam gear has to come off to allow it to slide off. And you can see that head just comes off easily now. Now the gentleman I bought this off said it was a going engine, but um, I sort of had my doubts now. It's, it's in really poor, it's, you know, poor condition. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it would have been running that well. It's obviously had a good flogging over its time. You see there I dropped the cam chain idler pulley off and then using a tyre lever to get that the, the barrel off. Now I didn't film splitting the crankcase because it was quite involved and it would have taken too long. But what I've done here, I've split the entire crankcase, of course drained the oil. And I'm using a puller that I bought to remove that lower cam gear, which is a press fit on to the crankshaft. And uh, it was a bit of a mongrel to get off, but that's what I needed, that tiny little gear there. So I look forward to seeing you in part two, where I machine the barrel and make a set of piston rings and make a brand new set of barrel bolts. See you then.